Hey, this is Michael from Remove Back Pain. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to relieve and remove your lower back pain at work naturally. Now, before I do any of that, if this is the first time that you're watching me, I come out with videos like these on how to help you get rid of back pain, lower back pain, um, and live much more freely, um, be more mobile, um, get away from the pain of herniated discs, degenerative discs, severe, acute, subacute, chronic, sciatic pain. Um, so I come out with other videos like these on how to relieve, how to get rid of it naturally, um, all the different pillars of it from mindfulness to natural remedies to healing foods and to exercising. So go ahead and check out the other videos if you would like to. They're down below in the description or you can just check out my channel for more information. But in fact, just release one on how to relieve um, your lower, uh, how to relieve your back pain in four minutes or less. So you can check that one out as well. Um, yeah, but don't forget to subscribe either if this is the first time you're watching me. But let's go ahead and move forward with this. Um, in minutes, I'm gonna be getting onto the share screen, so you're gonna wanna wait for that. But right now, I wanna give you a couple of things. And before I actually show you, you need to know that to relieve lower back pain at work, it's all subjective, right? And it's all based on a perspective that we have. Um, you might be different than me, right? You might be different than the next person in line. And why though? Why is that? Um, we all have a different pain threshold. That's understandable. That's, that's how we always have to tackle things. That's how I tackle things, reverse engineering them. Um, you know, being a back pain expert, going through all this and having my own pain, um, having severe and acute pain. Um, but, you know, that story's for another time. There are other videos as well and in my site. But um, not to go far into that, we all have a different pain, but when we all have we all have to manage it in a different way, right? You keep hearing from people who are like, you know, just take painful medications, just take another NSAID, take another opioid, take another bit of that acetaminophen, and you'll feel okay. You know, take take a little bit of that Advil, and you'll be you'll be good, right? Just like it's been marketed all over the TV and everywhere else on the internet, but it's all subjective on our own pain and you have to look at it in terms of what you need and what scenario that you're in. And just like in the other video I released on how to remove, you know, back pain in four minutes or less, it's all about who you are. Everybody has a different circumstance. So let's say, you know, there was a time when, you know, I was playing a lot of soccer. So, you know, I came from a division one background, gone to school. Um, and so, you know, there's different aspects in that scenario. So if you're working, if you're like a coach or if you're a student athlete, right, your work might be to perform in the classroom and to do things on the field or for your sport. So how do you remove those things? You got to start off with um, stretching, right? Stretching is one of the biggest keys, right? And that's not only for when you're out on that field, but when you're in the office, kind of like where I'm at today, kind of sitting in my second living room doing this, but I have my own office space. Um, but it all aligns with how we stretch and not only stretching, but in our breathing. Okay. So, you know, before you get into your construction site, you to your construction site, you know, I've done construction jobs in the past before you get into a manufacturing role, which I've done before, before you do you, you get into warehousing, which I've done before too, and office roles. But, um, there are so many different scenarios. Um, I'll be showing you on the share screen here in a bit. I'll be going into my, my um, article. But to relieve it at work, let's say for one example, I'm sitting down right here in the office, right? I'm just sitting down on a chair. What do I do? You know, I'm sitting here doing my work. I'm typing into my computer, my laptop, got my desk um, tools around me, my pencils, my, my books. Well, first of all, you got to look around your space and see what you have, what's in reaching distance, what isn't, right? Because preventative steps are very important. And that's where I really want to begin, right? If you're not preventing um, back pain, lower back pain from coming, you're going to continue to have it, right? No matter how much exercise you go through, no matter if you, you know, do something while you're sitting down stretching, it's going to come back because 
imagine me, I have a book here, right? And I'm kind of just stretching across. Now it's like all the way pushed on the other side. So now I'm bending forward. What is that going to do? That's going to cause more pain on my back. And if you have severe back pain already, that's going to make it, that's going to make matters worse. And um, you do not want to be pulling anything else. You know, don't want to be getting any more thinning this, bulging this, herniated, degenerative, um, you know, all these different tissues getting inflammation with. But um, you got to look at your posture being one of them. Right? And to have better posture, it all comes back to how you, you know, work on it. And, and it comes through exercising. So if I'm sitting down right here, I'm going to back up my chair a bit. One of the things that I like doing is I like doing the seated hamstring stretch. So if your pain isn't as severe and you have posture that you can at least put your, you know, your, your chin forward, eyes forward, head straight, and I'm back away from my desk. You want to get a little bit of back away from your desk. Don't be pressed upon it because you're going to be bending over. So what I like doing is I like going to put my hamstring, you know, put my legs straight and I'm going to be facing forward at all times, but I'm going to be going down, not arching my back, keeping it level straight. And I'm extending my right arm. And what I'm doing is I'm just stretching as far as I can, right? Your flexibility is probably not as great. Um, I know a lot of people and I understand when I had back pain too, and I was resting a lot and I stopped playing sports. Um, I was having trouble with flexibility, but that comes in time when you're doing stretches, you're doing yoga, um, therapeutic um, treatments. You're going through these things that are allowing you to have tension release, right? Going to a chiropractor, being able to have massages, to be able to relieve this, relieve this, this, this tension that you have. So, you know, I'm bending over here and I'm stretching as far as I can. And I could go so far, don't push it, but hold it there for 15 to 25 seconds. Come back up slowly, right? I'm gonna go and show you. And then you can do it again. I'd go ahead and do it at least three times, two more times after what I just did. And then switch legs and do, then do that one. That's a seated hamstring stretch. Um, it's a very um, popular one and it's a safe one as well. It's one that you can use for you know acute to severe pain as well. Um, another one to do um, that I like is called not to confuse you with, with all this language, but it's called the quadratus stretch, quadratus lumborum stretch. And there's two different ways of doing that. You can do it while you're on the ground, or you can do this while you're on the chair, right? Let's say you are um, at work. Maybe you are in the office setting. Maybe you are on your truck, right? Maybe you're driving a, construct, a construction vehicle, and you, know, you got a CDL license, or maybe there's other circumstances where you're sitting down. Maybe um, you're taking a break in the car, well, one thing I can do is gently, either way, I'm gonna turn around, nice and slowly, facing directly straight when I turn. But at the same time, what I'm gonna be doing is watch my right arm. So I'm gonna be going over, slowly, starting to turn it a little bit. And with this one, my left one, it's gonna come down on the handle. So this one is kind of over now. Now they're both, me, they're both, uh, touching one touching the handle here one touching the, uh, the right side here and so i'm just going to gently with my left hand keeping my body and torso straight as much as i can i'm going to turn my chest to the right and just get a little bit of a stretch you don't got to turn all the way like 90 degrees 180 you don't got to do that okay just stretch once you're here you stretch you feel it right i'm going to feel it on my left side right here my desk the quadratus stretch, kind of where like the ribs um, and the like thoracic spine disc kind of meets with the lower back um, portion of it. And it goes down to like the hip area, but you want to be able to go ahead and turn this over and stretching it and stretching it, hold it for 15 to 25 seconds. You can come back to position and switch sides. Um, don't stick to one side too much, switch the other side, do it the same the same way, right? I'm already here, so I'm gonna kind of give you a little demo. And you wanna be breathing at the same time. And I know that wasn't for 15 to 25 seconds, but because of the sake of time that I have here with you, um, and I can be spending hours on this, um, that's another thing to do. That's a very popular one. Um, do it in different circumstances when you're sitting down. Um, even when you're standing, I want to give you 
um, a little bit of that one. Um, so when you're actually when you're sitting, you can do this one when you're standing as well. But you can just reach for the sky right here. This is a, this is the one where you're reaching up. You're reaching up, and you're going like this, and you're going, oh god, it feels good. And you'll you'll notice if you if you're not if you haven't been stretching enough lately, you'll feel it at the top of your upper back where it starts to tense up, kind of like you're almost going to have a cramp, but it's borderline. Sometimes it does if you hold it for longer and then you want to let go. 15 to 25 seconds. I like to hold it in when I go up. Then come down and release. So if you were standing up too, you would do it and you want to stay on your on your tippy toes is what you want to do as well. You want to get up from your chair and reach up with your tippy toes, hold it up there. Um, and then you can also do the little side to side. I know I'm not standing up right now for sake of time, but um, stand up, do this one as well, where it will stretch your quadratus as well. And there's another one where you could do it sitting down where you're, you're going side to side. But it feels good. It gives you a stretch and it, and it, and it um, creates more flexibility and it's always going to give you more strength. But important part there is flexibility because you want to get through your day at work, right? Strength will come, but that's something that you normally work on your own time, right? When you're going to maybe a chiropractor after a chiropractor, physical therapist, or you're working at home at it. Um, you know, I have all these different articles you can look at, so I'll link to them below. But let me go ahead and get into the article now. Let me show you. This is an article that I made where you can relieve back pain, lower back pain at work. And so I kind of started it with um the purpose of prevention and and what mistakes you're making i want you to know that so you don't make them right so many people will tell you okay do this where they give you a little bit right um i want to give you more than what most people do i want you to know what you can do in every scenario like i spoke about earlier construction manufacturing office work home from work from home Right now, I, I do a lot of the stuff work from home right now, So, but I'm still in the office a lot. And so I need to be here if I want to help other people out. And so I want to be a good at all times. So in silence, you can really hurt. If you have a bad ache, what you need to do is you need to start talking to people at work. Your employee, your supervisor, manager, boss, whoever that may be, you need to communicate that with them because if you are silent, you're going to hurt. And I've done that before myself. I'll go ahead and show you like kind of my product productivity environment at one point. I don't work there anymore. Um, but uh, you're going to lose a lot of productivity, okay? You're going to have no documentation. Um, many people realize that the pain doesn't go away right away. It takes you time. Um, the next day you roll out of bed in the morning might have started off great. You put some cream, for example. You take your favorite inside pill or not, or put on a back brace. What pain, right? You need to under you, you need not to underestimate the task of your job. As you continue to work, you follow the same routine that got you into trouble in the first place. So that's what I talk about when when you want to relieve lower back pain, back pain, um, especially naturally. Um, but you do it, you hear about it, you probably watch other videos or read things, but you don't take into consideration what you need to do on the other side. That's what I want to show you. So the computer of epic proportions, proportions, and I did this all myself, right? I wrote all this stuff um, through experiences and through what my knowledge allowed me to share with you. Um, this is what really happens. This is a three-step process. You get to your desk and you immediately sit down, or it can be your your um, your construct. You're in a construction job site, or you're in your truck, or in a different role, right? In a different role, and um, you stare at your screen till your eyeballs practically live inside of that computer. You hunch over to get a better look. And then I talk about the avalanche here. So don't do this a lot. Like at the beginning where I said I was, you were hunching to reach over, that's where most people make a mistake um, because they reach over. And honestly, that's what people most people don't know is like the reason you hunch more is because you're always like this. You're always reaching forward. And when you reach forward, it feels good. So you get naturally into that state of mind. But when you're here, this is where everything happens. When you're straight forward, your back is perfect. There's no concavity. You know, you're not getting your spine to go too much inward, where too much inward is going to be causing more pain on your, your abdomen. Um, you don't want so much of that. And there's a lot of reasons that can happen, right? Bad posture. You have bad muscle imbalances. And I talk a lot about muscle imbalances and how you can get treatment for that. 
Um, so you have to have the correct muscle balances, um, having your hips aligned, not having posterior or anterior pelvic tilt um, to a bad place. I and mean, some of us have it to a degree, but not having it too much. Okay, you're on company's time, right? And so, Here's, here's the thing, when you're when you're thinking about company time, you're like, I need to get things done right away. I need to write that report. I need to get it done or else somebody's gonna say something. You know what you need to do? Take some time, relax. And I talk about the four, seven, eight breathing technique. So in any situation that you're in, you go, you breathe in for four seconds and then you breathe in for another three seconds for a total of seven and then eight, let it go, watch, breathe in. One, two, three, four, hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release. So you wanna do that over and over and that's gonna help you calm down, okay? It's gonna make you um, think more clearly. A tall telling statistic, I go into that for four, every four and five women, uh, there's a hunch that hunch their back will have lower back problems. Um, but you wanna know more about the things you can do. So you can go through this yourself, I'll leave it, down below in the description, check that out. I also have another one where you can uh, create a, an ergonomic friendly working environment, depending on the situation that you're in and the job that you're in. I might show you that at the end here a little bit, but um, phones, phone's a big reason too, why you're always hunching, see? Reaching over, hunching with your phone. I don't have it on me. That's why I don't have it here because I'm busy working, trying to help you guys. Um, and then here's more things. Move your feet. Your torso needs to be um, an arm's length away from the monitor. Monitor is two to three inches above your eye level. Okay, that'll decrease from you having to have pain at work. Um, so keep your feet on the ground at all times. Don't go tippy toe. Don't don't feel like you're having to reach. Get, if, if if anything, get a comfortable seating chair. Um, I talk about ergonomic chairs on my site. So if you want to visit that, I think I have videos on it too. But um, have an ergonomic friendly chair. That is very important. And that that also goes for vehicles. I mean, if you can't replace a vehicle, you can't pre prevent or release uh, or get a new chair, what I suggest you do is you get one of these guys. And my back is better nowadays, so I don't have to worry so much about, um, because I've done, I've done my homework, I've done my, you know, I've gone through the things I've needed to to heal properly, naturally, and so forth. Conservative, natural treatments, and so forth. But I use an ergonomic seat cushion, okay? And this one is very nice and padding. Um, you know, so you can have more comfort while you're working and so you can actually focus in and concentrate on work instead of having to worry about having another ache, another inflammation, another pain bother you and having to leave earlier, um, you know, which means you're going to be more productive in the long run and you'll have more time to finish those tasks and feel happier about waking up, going to work, the meaning of doing that and then coming back. It's just so much more, more better. But um, that's, that's, a, that's an alternative. I mean, that's what I use every single day. Kid you not. And then you can use one for your back. I have one too. Use it for the car and the very back. But anyways, keep your spine straight um, at all times. There's a little video you can go over by some good guys here. Um, plan a curriculum. For every 30 minutes, get up, put your hands up in the air, toes up, and twist to the left and right. So like I spoke about earlier, but I didn't get up. If you're standing for too long, you can do the seated reach for the sky arm stretch but i want you to actually get up if you've been sitting for too long get up and do that okay um, and then i have articles that link out to like the best stretches for lower back pain yoga how to relieve lower back pain with exercise you you, you name it it's all in here right it might not all be covered in this section but this is kind of the ergonomic office chair that i was using at one point but i've kind of um i used it for a long time then i moved on to other ones but this is a good one herman miller's are nice um yeah, I know you can't see it too well because the, the way I took the picture at the time was, yeah, the way it is right now. But it was very nice um, compared to one that I had before, which was very, like, low-leveled. And the, there was some padding on there, but it was, like, hunching me forward and back and hurt. So have the right ergonomic office chair. Um, here's a couple of them kind of compare side to side so you can watch these. I know you got to turn your head a little bit. I'll try to fix that, but we'll leave it there. Um, but... That's what it is. And here's the desk that I was working at it for a long time. You know, if you have to get something more stable, do it. If you have to get one of these um, desks, 
even a standing desk to push it up, push it up and down while you're standing. If you can stand more, tolerate that pain than having to sit. You know, we all have different thresholds, right? We all have a different kind of pain. Um, have a close look at your body and seating position. You can go over this lumbar supports, basics. Like I talked about, putting your foot to the ground, knees 90 degrees, um, wheels are straight, and so forth. Um, there's more ergonomic benefits to that. Uh, back cushions, um, that's what I use. I love back cushions. They they work really well. If I didn't have to spend on a, when I don't have to spend on a chair to make everything better, I can just use these. And you can use them for anything. Um, you know, I have my review on them but for another time. If you're in the gym, how do you get rid of that, right? Um, a very common workplace environment is comes in lifting, whether it's light or heavy objects. Um, the right amount of weight needs to be measured, right? You do not want to be lifting too much weight if another side of your body, when it comes to muscle imbalances, you probably don't know too much about it, but I have articles you can look at, is one side of your body has to work harder than the other. So let's say you're lifting a weight on one side. It might be your stronger side. But what you're doing too is you're putting too much emphasis on that side and you're not putting enough on the other one. So you got to work on them just as equally or more, more, more so on the one that's weaker to balance, to come back to where it is. Um, if you're lifting boxes, um, walking around more smoothly, doing activities, couldn't have them prior. That's what I've done. I did for some time too. I was having to move boxes. I know the feeling of that. Um, it's stressful. But if you can wear something like a back brace, have the right one in place, so you can tolerate the pain and you can keep your spine in balance straight, um, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, so there are so many different ways of doing it. Make sure you're not living, lifting too many heavy boxes. If you can't tolerate it, stay away from it. Herniated disc, sciatica, that kind of stuff, it'll come back much faster and it'll hurt, <laughs> trust me. Um, only use them temporary, not long-term. There are other solutions to go away from that that I talk about on uh, joints and back muscles, common misconceptions. For most people that can lift a gallon, uh, for example, most people can lift a gallon of juice up when you when in the upward position. Um, it does take more force to hold it there though. The farther away from your body, the worse strain it has on your back. Keep that gallon of orange juice at home or the, at the groceries close to you. So if you're going to grab groceries, key point, keep it close. Don't bend too far, you know, don't, don't start from the back and then reach forward, it's like lifting a box. Don't do that. You wanna get close as you can to it, keep your back straight. And if you're reaching down, hunch down. Don't, don't lean forward like that, hunch down, like you're almost doing a squat and pick it up and keep it close to your body, put it on the cart, okay? That's just an extra that I wanted to give you. You're on the job side, I talk about that in here, 30% of construction workers miss work due to an injury on the spine. Why is that though? This could be you. Heavy lifting, tool belts, long hours on the job, repetitive tasks, bad posture, and so much more. Um, but a lot of it does come from the tools that you're using and the way you're putting your position, your body position in different angles. So you got to understand how to keep your body straight at all times. Uh, wear construction braces, uh, back braces, stretch before. Remember what I said, stretching before you do your job. Uh, if you're doing physical labor, of course, lift with your legs. That's, that's most important. Lift with your legs, not with your knees. Lift with your legs. Um, and I talk about how I worked in construction for some time, um, and I couldn't constantly do it at a point, but I learned how to do it. Uh, manufacturing, I did manufacturing too, quite in fact with my dad, and um, work in a warehouse environment. Walk around the complexes, stand up from a, from a chair and reach for the hand for my hands for the sky, the sky stretch. Walk to get a drink of water. That's the biggest one I think out of all. Um, fluids, you need to be drinking fluids. Water with eh, water with a lemon is okay. That's actually good because it works with your electrolytes and your electrolysis. But it's that's that's topic for something else. But um, brings in more salts, gives you more stability. Lubricate, it's like a lubricant. But if you can drink water, go ahead and do that. Um, it's gonna lubricate your spine. It's gonna bring more fluid to your your um, cervical, your the the C1. T1 and then your lower back, thoracic and, and lumbar. So you gotta do that because it's gonna hydrate your discs. If you have severe disc pain, it's, you, need to, you need to hydrate them. your facet joints and all around your body. Not just that, hips and joints and so forth, joints, muscles. Um, it's kind of what I was lifting at a point, HP boxes for a bit. The trainer and the athlete in you, you gotta be careful when you're doing these things. You gotta be stretching before the activity, personal training, trainer, student athletes. How to build your own ergonomic workplace. Um, and I have that here. You can go ahead and check that out. I'll give you that for a quick second here so you can look at it. 
Then I have the remove back pain system where it goes step by step from the beginning of understanding what back pain is to your own catered way of healing, right? You click in an article, you read that one at the bottom, it'll show you another one. Go to the next part, go to the next one after that, and it's all for free. Um, so I'll have that link to as well. And I have, you know, my guide where you can go ahead and um, I think it's like five steps to being able to remove back pain. Um, and I teach you how to do this in your 24 hour day, seven days a week, right? I'm going to teach you how to do it Monday through night. What should you do on Monday? Uh, what should or what should you do on the morning, the afternoon? If it looks like this, if your if your evening looks like this, if your nighttime looks like this, depending on your needs, right? So that's all in there. Um, and then let me kind of go through this article that I've linked to before. I would have backed space, but I want to just show you this one. Actually, you can already see that article, but I'm going to leave it all on one tab. Um, there's really not much need for that. Okay, here it is. Um, so I talk about how to build an ergonomic workspace for a bad back. If you want to go through this. I won't spend too much time on it, but you can go ahead and get that article down below. Why ergonomics really should matter to you. And what I could do, like what, what I would do, how you would do a step one is do this. Step two is do that. Step three, step one on this example. Step two in this scenario. What suits best for an ergonomic workspace depends depends, subjective and relevance relative to what you are doing, right? Um, small calorie burns, increased productivity, less back pain, standing desks, seat cushions, office, if you, you, you name it, it's all in here, okay? Um, so if you want to know more about this, and if, hopefully you learned a lot about how to re, uh, relieve, but also remove your back pain while you're at work. Um, and it could be at home too. So I have articles on that if you want to look at it. But take it day by day. It's relative and subjective, again, to who you are. And not everybody's going to have the same thing. Right? You won't always be sitting down. You won't always find yourself in an office. You'll find yourself at a construction site. You'll find yourself manufacturing in different roles, warehousing. It doesn't matter. At home. Um, but you can relieve it if you follow those steps of stretching. Remember what I showed you at the beginning. Quadratus lumborum stretches to the sides while reaching for the sky, hand seated hamstrings, um, just kind of putting your posture like this, bringing forward, coming back a little bit. It's another one. Um, and so many other methods of doing it, um, like I went through in this article. So if you have any questions on this, I do want to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if you have any suggestions, maybe something you've tried in the past that you want others to know that nobody else would know about. Um, one more stretches are in here. Um, I'll leave articles to that as well. But um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. If you need any help, um, questions, concerns, and I will be here to answer them for you. All right, that's it for me. Thank you and talk to you another time.